The date, December 24th, Christmas Eve. And we decided to make our first attempt to sail from Portobello to Sandblast because we were hoping to spend Christmas in the Sandblast. But as they say, the weather outside was frightful. We had a lot of rain, like torrential. <laughs> I think the level of the ocean came up last night. <laughs> it rained all night, wow. The first time we've seen that in a long time, that's for sure. It's very strong. But now we're just on our way out to sea, and we'll be making... Ooh. Really? That much? It was forecast to be fairly calm, but what we encountered along the way was anything but calm. And the closer we got to the pass, the strength of the wind, waves, and current all increased right on our nose. So we quickly realized that getting to Sandblast in the daytime was not going to happen. The crew was starting to feel a little, well, wheezy, so the decision was fairly quick to make to turn back and spend a much more relaxed Christmas Eve back in Portobello where the water was always calm in these kind of conditions. And once the decision is made, we turn around and start surfing downwind in perfect conditions for this direction. So a big sigh of relief from everybody as we had a great sail back to Portobello. The next day, Christmas morning. We all got up early and celebrated with little Richie and then went ashore to plan a nice dinner with some friends. Perfect. The weather is scheduled to improve in just a couple days, so that is when we'll make our next attempt. What time is it? <laughs> Richie, the green glasses. Something uh -oh. that's coming. First Christmas wow. present. Wow. <gasps> wow. Yeah! <laughs> Figured that one out fast, huh? Yep, yeah, back to the hammer. <laughs> Look at it, Tim. No! This is not for birthday. Uh oh, the boat's in serious trouble now. Richie has a hammer. job on that. What stone is that? He's a jade. Oh beautiful. Nice jade surrounded Powerful. in coral. Yeah, yeah did this nice is uh, all the stone and uh, I bought in Mexico 10 years ago and... Uh, 10 years ago? Yeah, 2011. Oh, 11 years ago and I take for me and doing the travel. Wow, you've been carrying that for over a decade. Uh -huh. It's got a lot of good spiritual yeah. protection and energy in it. Yeah, she made one for me three years ago and I wore it every day. It's been on my wrist ever since, but uh, something broke there one day and the stone fell out, it got lost. Uh -huh. We couldn't find it, so. I re no, I found last day inside the dinghy. Okay. My stone? Yeah, I found, I show you. Oh, I, I thought it was the one that you took out that you no, 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 I found so your stone. I lost. Yes. Oh, okay, good. So you still got it. That's good. Inside the so I wore that stone every day for over three years. Wow. Uh -huh. Also uh, Jade? Yeah, also Jade. 
Okay. Lotus grasses. That one's beautiful. You're welcome. Another beauty one. See, Bitsy? Look, Daddy got one too. See my coral. See, Daddy got coral like Richie. Look. See, you got coral. Daddy got coral. Now is the time for mommy. Now mommy make a, for, a gift for Shiso. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I love it. It's, uh, it's all little things because uh, really we don't have a lot of space on the boat. And it's something, all of something. It's a para style. Oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. That's beautiful. Let's see. Uh -huh. See, it matches the ones on the necklace you made for me. Perfect. We got several of them. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We make pasta and fancy. We make the first uh, stripe, right? It's correct. First layer? Level. Mm -hmm. Okay, first level is a bechamel and ragu uh, and bolognese sauce. And the third is the pasta and a little parmesan. And day by day, and time by time, you go up. Right, he's taking it to the next level. <laughs> I, the same I hope for my, my, I don't know, desire to make a, like a, a cook um, video for everyone and then I'm interested to watch it. Uh, I need only to organize better my time with Ricardo and Celine. Time? And what time? What time? Yes. It's <laughs> uh, one thing we don't have anymore is time. Yeah, yeah, uh, but. Time is of the essence, as they say. Mm hmm. I think so. We have enough ragu for make one little, but I think so we can save something for us for make really a fresh tagliatelle or made tagliatelle or meravioli for us. Now, parmigiano. Parmesan, what's that? It's Italian. <laughs> yeah. I mean, from Italy, it is, eh? That's uh, a joke. Everything has Parmesan. In Italy, I love, I love. We're a Parmesan family. Mm -hmm. And now, I'm gonna start. And next layer. Mm -hmm. Next layer of noodles. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Pasta. Yeah, please. Noodles is a China. Don't ever say noodles around an Italian. <laughs> You'll get slaughtered. <laughs> you pissed off me. Yeah, just flip the other sign up and tie it up out of the way. Huh? <laughs> hey, we'll just flip your sign out of the way, no? Huh? Just tie it up out of the way. Go slave, lower on the left. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Rick. Ah, uh, muchas gracias, amigo. Very nice. No, 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 no. I go in the corner. Big lasagna, eh? That is lasagna. That's the big. Don't cry for me. Oh, lasagna. Okay, after we need to take outside and make. Uh, and eat. And the idiot, no. I guess. No, we need to make the cross. It's the old parmesan. The cross. All parmesan we'll will be fixed. Don't worry, baby, don't okay. worry. On the parmesan. Because <laughs> every little crisp. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> hey, just don't get a copyright infringement. This or this? <laughs> we 
questo? A little less uh, tempered. A little less. Wait, wait. Can you crack it? <laughs> We got it, guys. Oh, yeah. You put more high. Oh, I'm abbassato. Mm. I lower it down. And now we wait. And now we just wait and start. We will wait. Now we have Vivi, then go to make a Mexican tamales with a banana leaves, no? Yeah, those are with banana, banana leaves. leaves. Ah, that's a big banana leaf. Yeah, yeah she's <laughs> from Mexico. Nice. And this is a tradition in a Christmas day. Yeah. Well, not necessarily for Christmas. We can make tamales anytime. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> They love tamales. Tamales are good right. anytime. Anytime. Did you know it? Yeah. Uh, well, regularly we use this with manteca de puerco. No, which is basically the pork. Okay, but, uh, normally it's uh, pork butter. Is it the, the fat of exactly. the pork? The pork. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we're gonna make it healthier in the sense that we're using olive oil. And well, regularly we do it with the traditional masa, which is corn based. But as here in Panama, we don't have those ingredients, we're doing our best. <laughs> so I got this uh, flour well, for arepas, which is not the same as uh, the traditional Mexican dough, but let's see how they taste. All right, so this is basically just this, and the flour, okay. we need salt, thank you so much. Well done. Okay, salt, good portion of salt. Okay. Regularly we, well, at least my mother used to do it with chicken broth. Okay. But in my case, I'm gonna make them with water. Okay. You adapt uh, the recipe yeah, on the, the plate recipe. that you are. Okay. What is this? Like sodium bicarbonate? It's like a, a, a baking soda. Yeah. Baking soda. Yeah. Baking soda, yeah. How much? So, uh, just a uh, little bit. Uh, yeah, all of it, all of it, all of it. Yeah, that's that's enough. Thank you. Mm. Need to be very soft at the door. Um, yeah, a bit, yeah. Like, it shouldn't be like water, but soft enough. Sometimes you don't get the texture. Like you don't you don't have this uh, this texture as it should be. You know, it's okay. not. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's it's like. Um, like a puree, you know? Yeah. Okay, this is the most important part, I think so, to do a tamales. So these are fresh. We cut them today in the morning at our yard. Okay. So we're so proud of this. They are really clean, but sometimes we need to just clean a little bit more to cut the banana leaves. And it depends on the size. Like, for example, for a tamal, we can use a leaf of this size. Okay. But so what is this? This is the sauce that we're gonna use for the tomatoes. Like I have pre-made, uh, but the recipe of this is quite simple. You're just gonna boil tomatoes with chiles verdes, you know, like green chilies, onion, garlic, and that's it. So you just chile let verde, the normal chile, green chili that we can find. In yeah, exactly. Summer. Like chile jalapeno, chile serrano, you know. A little bit of culantro if you want to do it, or cilantro, okay. better, a better cilantro because than it's more cilantro. soft. Uh, exactly. Like, uh, but uh, if you don't find it, you just find culantro, well, you can use right. culantro. For everyone, culantro, cilantro, coriander. It's, it's not spicy. Very, very soft spice. Do you want to make it spicier? Everyone loves spice in our boat. I don't know someone else, but uh, us, we love spice. You'll never get a no from me. Yeah. So you, do you, <laughs> I love like, spice. You can try it, and if you like it, you want to test? Sure. Okay. Bye for bye. Yeah, it's good, but it's like Maddie said, it's very soft. It's very soft, right? Yeah. It's mild. It's very, we can make soft. it more spicy. Yeah. All right. Definitely so. more Mexican. Okay, we're, we're going to make it more Mexican. Mm. <laughs> also, yeah, once once the tomatoes and the onions are boiled, you Before. just... Before. What? I have boiled them. Yeah, you boil them. Now is enough. Okay, let me try it. Now it's perfect. It's not enough, it's perfect. Cotta sotto è cotta sicuramente perché se sopra è cotta sotto è cotta. How's it going in here? It's well, good. Now we try to make the crispy in the top. Mm -hmm. And we switch off because we don't want to start cooking the pasta. And because this evening we need to rewarm. It's like the nativity. Can you see? Even the lights are perfect, you know. 
There you go. The Nasalia is the real symbol of the Christmas. Yeah, it's the lasagna in Christmas mm. Mamma mia, mamma mia, ragazzi, lasciamo perdere. Ottimo! <laughs> and hot tamales. Ottimo! So basically what we're gonna do is just to heat these. Okay. To make them like softer. softer. Yeah, especially on this part. Okay. okay, so we just need to hold it here for a bit and check how the color changes. Okay, wow. Right? And it does very quick. Uh, in this uh, steam is the humidity that can go out. Is the water inside exactly. the leaves. Okay, exactly. That's what we do. So, we can remove the water inside the leaves, sir. Okay. All right, and okay. this is it. So this way we have a more like manuable uh, okay. leaf. And something hilarious is that in Guatemala they don't used to do it. Like when they prepare tamales, they don't heat the the leaf, the banana leaf. And the tamales, as she explained before, then uh, you can. Uh, refill inside of what you want, ingredient, uh, is meat, fish, veggie, the mushroom, and onions. onions. Take your spoon, a good spoon of it, like, well, we need a bigger spoon, but in this case, this is what we got. Uh, just pour a little bit of the dough on the banana leaf. Try to spread it, like, all around the surface, like this, and then mushrooms, Beef. Then onions. One, two, three, four, like as you like. If we need more onions, we can chop more. And sauce. It's more the sauce than all the other ingredients you saw. Okay, so mm -hmm. sauce. And then culantro. Okay, so what you're gonna do afterwards, it's just like take your, your tomato like this, fold it, and then this one. We'll see here inside. This one, this other side folds. Two beautiful guys, the, per Salute. the perfect night, uh, a good wine, uh, no, no, no ladies breaking balls. Uh, a la santé, monsieur. For the moment. For the moment. You hear the face of the girl now. Arr, arr. We love you, eh? We love you. Salute the ladies.
Mamma mia! Look! Seven floor, seven floors <laughs> lasagna. Yeah. First step, second floor, third floor, mezzanine. Oh. Gracias. Ciao.